Hello. <coughs> Fort Wyoming, we have student athletes Jake Hendricks, Quan Marmol, Coach Allen Edwards. Coach, let's start with you. Get some thoughts on tonight's game. Um, thought this was um, <laughs> one of our better games. You know, um, obviously having, uh, I want to say, five guys in double figures. Thought we did a great job. Uh, sharing the basketball um, on the offensive end of the floor. Um, thought we were connected uh, defensively. Um, thought we did a good, uh, thought we did a good job rebounding, but the stat sheets uh, don't say that. But uh, I just thought our guys went out there and, and competed. You know, uh, the last time we played them at our place, we had a 19-point lead that we let get away. But you know, our, our thing to our guys was. You know, it's tournament time, um, and let's leave it all out on the floor. Um, and I thought our guys did a great job uh, of just staying the course. And this time around, even, you know, I thought CSU continued to fight. Um, like uh, us three was just talking backstage here, you know, those was uh, the longest two minutes uh, in the history of college basketball, it felt like. But, you know, our guys found a way uh, to pull it off in advance. Thank you, Coach. Questions for our student athletes? Uh, Jake and Quan, you know, we've talked about this before that you guys have been in these situations earlier this year and you guys came up on the wrong end. You know, today it seemed like every time they made a big shot to cut it down to two or three, you guys were able to respond. You guys made all your free throws late today for the most part. What made today different? Uh, I would say all the hard work we've put in every day in practice, we come in and, and we want to get better and we work hard every day. and. And in the other times that we've talked and we've come on the wrong end, uh, we've had something. Every, every time it's been something that's gone wrong. And tonight I thought we fixed all of, all of those things and put a complete game together. And, and it just comes with all the hard, we, hard work we put in. She was very adamant about saying they didn't overlook you guys. They were never overlooking you. Did you feel overlooked by most of the rest of the conference and CSU? I would say so. I, I think a lot of people would doubt a two in 16 team, 11 seed. Uh, we've had a lot of close games, so maybe a lot of people within the conference with other teams uh, might not have because they know we, we can play a close game. But uh, I would say for the most part, we were probably pretty doubted. And when it did, you know, I think you guys got it, it was like five at halftime, then it went back up to 13, and then it went back down to two or three. And, you know, obviously the way the last game against Colorado State went with you guys being up 19, was there ever a moment when you had to kind of regroup and say, we're not going to let this happen again? I mean, what were those huddles like when you kind of had to call those timeouts and break up their momentum? Uh, just to con what, what Coach Edwards has preached all year is just to continue uh, de to defend and rebound. And if we, if we get stops, they, can't, they don't score, so they can't come back. And, and I thought we did a really good job of defending, and, and we always preach about getting kills, which is three stops in a row. And, and I don't know how many we got, but we were, we were on the verge of a lot, and we got two uh, quite a bit. And, and when we don't let them score, it, it stops their run, and then, and then we just got to uh, finish with the rebound because they're a, a good offense rebounding team. Let's go over here. Uh, Jake and Quan, first big upset of the tournament technically. What do you guys do to stay focused and be ready for Nevada coming up? Uh, we got to get a lot of this, a lot of Gatorade, a lot of water. Uh, get a good night's rest and wake up in the morning and be ready for uh, our, our preparation for Nevada. Quan, do you want to respond to that too? Um, we just got to <laughs> listen to the coaches, follow the, stay the course. Uh, Coach Edward always preaches, stay the course. Um, just stay the course. Like Jake said, get some good liquids in us, get some good night rest, and put some good food in our body and have a good night to recover. Anything else for our student athletes? Okay, we'll dismiss them at this time. Thank you for coming down, man. We'll keep coach for a couple more minutes. Go ahead. Over here. Sorry. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alan, we've, you know, you've talked all year about, you know, them trusting the process and them staying in the course, and it hasn't always worked out this year. And today, you know, it hasn't happened a lot this year, but it kind of all fell into place. To have it fall into place, especially here against Colorado State, I mean, what does that just mean for you personally? Well, you know, what, what, one of the biggest things we talked about even before the game was um, clearing out uh, the outside noise. And we've had to say that to our guys quite a bit because when 
you're on a course and at the end of the day, the wins don't show up, it's hard to doubt what you're doing. And we're consistently telling our guys, like you can hear them talk, you know, we're consistently telling them about the process. Just stay true to the process and understand <clears throat> that there's a reason why you work the way you work. And again, it, it, it doesn't guarantee you a win at the end of the day but it puts you in the best position to win. And even with this group, you know, we are young, you know, with uh, 11 freshmen and sophomores, and we had three of them uh, not even suited up. Well, Thompson got back today, but, you know, these guys, whether after a tough loss, a bad loss, when we come back and get prepared for our next team, they're, vo they're focused and they come in and they work hard. This, this has been a good group. Like, there's no talk back. Um, you know, I just got to understand who I can yell at and who I can't. <laughs> I've gotten better at that with guys. But again, you can hear them talk. I mean, we, we con consistently talk about the process and defending and rebounding. You know, offensively, I just care about you sharing the basketball. And I, th I thought tonight was one of our better performances in the sense of sharing and 19 assists and seven turnovers. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive um, with the group. And you're looking at, uh, again, TJ being a young guy, uh, Maldo being a young guy. And I thought uh, Jake and AJ were re really uh, solid for our guys tonight. So, um, I mean, I, th this group still believes. Like, like they said, we've been in so many close games and we could have been on the other side of, the other side of them no different than, you know, playing Nevada. You know, both of them came down to the last uh, possession, per se, but they, they found a way to just keep coming. So tonight it was, it was good, and it's a good feeling. Go ahead. You mentioned those close games. Two of them were against Nevada, who you're going to play now in the next round. What do you feel like you learned or your team maybe learned uh, in those games that you can apply and, and maybe come out with a better result this time? Well... You know, in, in both of those games, or, you know, a lot of our games, I thought we made a lot of youthful mistakes uh, down the stretch. And we also haven't done a great job of putting in free throws down the stretch, um, which today we had a better, we did a better job of not making youthful mistakes. And for the most part, we're able to put in free throws. So, <clears throat> Looking back at both games, you know, at their place, our ball, 50 seconds left, our freshmen get picked by their fifth-year senior, and he goes and gets a layup and just changed the, the, the course of the game. Um, at our place, they had a big stop uh, at, at down the stretch, uh, which, is, I mean, is a veteran group. So we have to understand that we are, it's capable to be done because we've been right there with them. Um, again, we just can't make youthful mistakes, and we got to be able, front end of a one on ones, we have to be able to make free throws. But respect Coach Alford and their staff uh, and the players that he has. Um, but like I tell our guys, you know, it's tournament time, and, you know, you get out there and you play. Over here. You guys pretty much live wire to wire. Jake came out and made his first three three pointers. What did you tell the guys that had him so hyped up? I don't know if I could tell you that. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a that's something I have to carry on within my <laughs> coaching profession. But I, I I gave them a speech that I had heard when I was an assistant under uh, Anthony Grant at VCU that always just stayed with me. And I thought the message um, uh, fit well for today. Um, now I gotta come up with something for tomorrow, but I thought they were very locked in. Um, and like you said, they came out and, and everybody would look at the process of making the shots, but I thought we, uh, we were defending uh, as well. So when you have that combination, you know, that's a good recipe to put yourself in position to win the basketball game. Yeah, one more question over here. What's just the biggest challenge of facing Nevada and playing a guy like Jalen Harris? Oh, he tough. Uh, gosh. 
Um, I know Malachi Flynn won player of the year, and he deserves it because of what San Diego State has done as a team. Uh, he is 1A, Jalen Harris, in the sense of, you know, if San Diego State is not having that type of year, you're probably talking about him as player of the year or being the best player in our, in our league. Um, and <laughs> we, I mean, that's, that's one of the things you just do your best, you know, because it's not like you're going to sit up there and say, shut him down. He's going to have the ball in his hands too many times, and he's going to get too many opportunities. Our job is to just make him take as many shots as possible to have whatever number he has in the sense of scoring. But that's not a one-man job. You know, that's a, that's a team job in the sense of understanding positioning. But at the same time, you know, the pieces around him help. You know, you obviously got to keep your eye on Jazz. Uh, Zuzwa has been shooting the ball really, really well. Um, Drew, you, you, he, you know, he's really come back and, and become a really good uh, three-point shooter himself. So they're, they're more than just Jalen, but he is a very good piece to have uh, for that group. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Coach. Thank you. Oh.